Hi guys. In this video I want to show you the EMF reading of our infrared sauna, in particular our dome. I will show that to you by using a field meter of EMF that third-party laboratories would use to measure EMF output of infrared saunas. Just in general, all our domes use our patented EMF cancellation technology. We developed that 10 years ago. Actually, Dr. Duncan, our founder, did. We have There are two different ways to cancel EMF in carbon ceramic heaters. We patented it both, and people are allowed to use these patents without any charge. So if you see any other infrared saunas, that is our technology that is used in there. But we understand it really well because we developed it. Now, there are different parts of this dome that have different readings of EMF. Where you lie, it is zero or really close to it, but I will point that out as I go through it and measure this. Um, the heaters overall are in this mat, in this blue mat. There's one big heater uh, up to the half and then another big one to the second half. Then the heaters are in, in these domes, so there are two big heaters curved in here as well. Um, the heaters themselves actually have not a high reading, and I'll show you that now. I'm using here an EMF um, electromagnetic field meter. It's really important to use the same as a third party would use. So in this particular dome, I'll show you where the reading is. So that's at the moment set um, for, for full, full heating. Just set the timer up here. <coughs> so it's heating up now. So we'll have a, a nice reading there because at the moment it's definitely going. Uh, starting with, with the dome itself here. Um, by the way, this meter has to be still when you want to do the reading. When you move, the reading will increase. So if you put it here, we have a reading of 0 0.1 milligauss. The World Health Organization recommends not higher than 3. We try to keep it as low as possible. Now I have 0 0.2 here. 0.2, going all around, 0.3. If I hold it exactly in the middle of the dome, this is where we were lying, yeah. we're having a reading of 0.2 as well. I know that if I go to the very bottom here, I might get a little bit higher reading because there's the cable going through, let me see. Well, 0.3, I expect it to sometimes go up a little bit higher, 0.3 here as well. The cables are all twisted in a way that they cancel each other out as well, but if I would go to one of the cables, I have an 0.4 milligauss reading here on the MET cable. Uh, a really high reading would be directly at the power box. That drops off within a couple of, of centimeters really, but just to point it out and not, not um, hide this. But a reading of 10 directly on the box or so, going 10 centimeters off. Still got a reading of about 9.7, dropping down to 2 when we are 20, meters, uh, 20 centimeters away or 30, dropping to 0.5 after about 40 centimeters. So we know that the transformer in this box will cause the reading, but that's not where you lie when you actually have your, um, your infrared therapy. Um, I might as well text, um, test the, the second dome as well, just to be sure that's the same one. By the way, in our manufacturing process, we measure every single heater, having a reading of 0.1 here, going in the middle, 0.1 directly on the heater here as well, 0.1 going on the bottom of the two heaters, 0.1 here, 0 0.2 to 0.3 here on the right hand side, which I do expect. 0 0.1 on the other side, the foot heater is by at 0 0.1. And if you go directly in the middle of it, you are looking at a reading of 0 0.1 milligauss. So that's a 30th of um, the recommended dose. Then um, lastly, I will go also onto the mat. So the mat has a reading of 0.1. Um, here, 0.1 here where the power goes in, I would expect it to be higher, so that's uh, 4.1 directly where it goes in, drops to 0.7 about 10 centimeters away, I think where you would lie would be an 0.4 to 0.5, and that's definitely a hot spot here, this one, it's normally underneath the mat, so 
yeah, you will certainly be below three where you lie. And then the top of the mat, I might do that as well, just to do all part sets in 0.1 again. Searching a little bit around, where the power comes in, it's in 0.8. On the other side, 0.9. Go here, it's, an, it's a zero here, 0.1 here. So it varies a little bit, but you can see where you lie. It's definitely around the 0.1, well, underneath one for sure. And yeah, a couple of hotspots that we are really aware of, which is where the power comes in, where the power cables comes in, and the controller itself. I might also give you a comparison of what an iPhone, this is a fairly new iPhone here, what reading that would be, and there's a huge difference of what you actually do with the phone. So this is at the moment connected to Wi-Fi, and uh, it's not doing a call, so it's just on standby, and if I go there on the reading, I got an 0.2, 0.3 milligauss happening, so still in, in the range of uh, what's by the World Health Organization considered safe. Now I just, um, I just call here a number that I can call, let's say I call my mailbox here, and I put the same reading here. The moment where it connects, that jumps up to 0.5, sometimes 0.8, so way higher they go, far 5, 5.0 and so on. So, um, so the phone is, certainly has more EMF than the, um, the dome. Of course there are other frequencies that phones also emit that you wouldn't see in, in an infrared sauna at all. But um, just to give you a comparison, the phone has certainly more EMF than a dome and it depends on whether you're actually on a call or not. So there's certainly an advice be away from the phone as, as you can, as far as you can, while you're on the phone. So a headset is a really, really good idea to use to um, reduce the exposure to EMF. So you've seen that the average reading in our dome is between 0.1 and 0.3, and that's a tenth of what's uh, recommended by the World Health Organization. However, many infrared saunas, and that's why people are aware of it, have a really, really high reading, and that's 120 milligauss. It's is something that is not unusual to see. So 120 milligauss is way more than a phone. It's 120 times as a phone as we, we have seen, and it's about 1,200 times of what our low reading here is. And look, around um, the 300 times less than our higher readings. So overall, this dome does really well with its EMF shielding and cancellations to be way below any other products in the market and that's good. I hope that everyone would follow suit and at one stage we will not see any EMF from any infrared saunas that can be harmful. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this gave you a good idea of how an EMF reading in an infrared sauna is done and how our reading compares on the EMF scale using an electromagnetic field meter for this. Thank you very much.